Yo Goldo Re bienvenue à tous J'ai toujours pas fini de manger c'est chiant <rire> On va refaire exactement la même chose Que ce qu'on avait fait au... à l'E3 On va regarder euh, la présentation d'Anthem Et on va, on va parler un peu dessus euh, Après Bienvenue Star Il montrait déjà les précommandes. Euh, J'ai vu. Maintenant, il n'y a que le. Il <coughs> n'y a que le, le compte à rebours. Mais euh, il montrait à un moment les précommandes. Euh, on peut déjà précommander le jeu. Enfin, peut-être pas maintenant, maintenant. Mais. Euh, on a des, des skins en plus, des trucs comme ça. J'ai vu vite fait. En tout cas, pour les précommandes, ça a l'air d'être du basique. Donc, euh, c'est pas très, très important. C'est bien. J'espère qu'ils vont pas. <rire> J'espère qu'ils vont pas bloquer une bêta derrière la précommande. Ah, le stream vient de vient de lâcher. <rire> le stream vient de lâcher apparemment. C'est bon ça. Le stream lâche de temps en temps. Ah, c'est normal. Nous vous rencontrons des difficultés à charger certaines données de cette chaîne. Ah, ils se sont fait bannir. <coughs> bon, je crois que j'ai fini de manger apparemment. <coughs> Alors, <coughs> on est de retour. <coughs> ah, attendez. Alors, la chaîne s'est fait bannir. <coughs> on n'aura pas d'anthème. Ils ont été bannis de Twitch. Ils ont été bannis, ça y est, c'est fini. Ah, on doit payer pour voir la suite du stream. Qu'est-ce qui se passe Il n'y a rien sur la chaîne. Ah. Attends, c'est en direct ou c'est une vidéo, euh, du coup Excusez-moi, hein. enfin, excusez-moi, non, c'est pas ma faute, <rire> mais... Je pense qu'on est bon. Ah, c'est ça, les, les précommandes. Euh, les jeux of Dawn Addition, VIP Access, tout pré-lunch. Oh, merde, putain, il y a eu vraiment une bêta euh, à la précommande. Ouh, hype <coughs> enfin, j'espère. Anthem. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Hello. Anthem live stream. Uh, my name is Ben Irving. I'm one of the lead producers uh, on the project. And today, I will be your host. Uh, son merde. Stream. Uh, joining me, we have two of our amazing developers. We have Francis and Leah. 
Uh, we'll have them do intros in a second. Um, the topic of our stream today is going to be Javelin personalization. So what that means is all the really cool ways you can uh, personalize the appearance of your Javelins and make yourself look really amazing. So um, we won't be covering things like La customization uh, des javelins. And gear and weapons. Um, we're just going to be focusing on the appearance of the javelins. So, ah, merde, um, ils vont pas parler des armes et... et tout ça, ils vont parler seulement de la custom des, des armures. <coughs> and hey everyone, I'm Leo Shinkiewski, I'm a producer here on the Anthem team. Awesome, welcome. So, for the streams going forward, kind of what uh, Mike and I thought we would do is we'd probably rotate hosting the show and then we'd bring on uh, some of our awesome developers who, who know a lot more about the inner workings of the game than, than we did and uh, are responsible for building it. So, um, before we dive into this system, uh, Ils ont un son pourri, hein, ça vient pas de moi. You, you know, many moons ago, uh, when we were thinking about, hey, how do we want players to be able to, to customize their appearances? What was some of the philosophy that went into, like what were you guys trying to achieve? Yeah, so uh, the nice thing was starting with the new IP. One thing we really wanted to do on Anthem was uh, take some of the things we've done in the past on Bioware games when it came to custom your, your, your appearance uh, in a lot of our other games like uh, like Mass Effect uh, with Shepard. Shepard always looked great. The party always looked great. Um, but when it came time to equipping new armors or if you get upgrades throughout the game, the armors always looked a little less great. They were, they were always so flatter, the quality it's amazing. as good as it should have been. <clears throat> so on this, uh, with Anthem, what we did was we established our visual target first and then we deconstructed that and rebuilt the entire personal... Bah, apparemment, ils ont énormément travaillé sur l'aspect... Uh, stuff you see in all our trailers, our cinematic assets... Styliser des armures. The same tools that the players will have to customize their... Awesome. <clears throat> and it, can we go in one level a little further? Yeah. So Chest arm, helmet paint, so, so, uh, set Francis legs, and the team animation. had these lofty goals of being able to do all this amazing stuff, uh, which inherently is quite complicated. En train de and, and you and your team had to build a system that supported this. So before we dive into how it all works, can you tell us a little bit about um, how you guys went into about designing the system? Yeah, absolutely. So I think for most of our UIs and the user experience is really driven around the idea that it should be frictionless, easy to use, and sort of something that you can just spend time really enjoying uh, the work that Francis has put together. So <laughs> I don't want to say get out of the way, but essentially get out of the way. And so <laughs> really what we've done here is uh, the forge, which is where you'll be able to customize your loadouts. Uh, we've put all La these forge. little interaction points on the suit, which are your jumping points, into all the places you can customize your XO. And that's your starting point. Cool. And so we're going to dive in here a second, but there's a, lot to, there's a lot to digest here. So do you mind, Leah, just describing what are kind of the main sections for how you can customize your appearance? And then we'll have Francis dive in and, and we'll get going. Sure. So uh, as you can see, Francis is sort of hovering around the different points. Um, We've got uh, elements that can change sort of the silhouette of your suit and then elements that are going to be able to change uh, how they look. So your helmet, your arms, your legs uh, are all towards the silhouette. And then we've got things like O oh, in the chest. And then, of course, your paint, your vinyls and your wear state will all adjust the physical appearance of the suit. And then ultra special, very fun animations, which will be for your emotes, your landing ands and the victory pose. Ça c'est sympa. Awesome. So on va pouvoir changer les animations aussi apparemment. Genre quand on s'écrase, uh, we'll, we'll we'll quand, quand on s'écrase sur le so sol Francis et tout ça, c'est cool. We'll all watch in awe. Genre tout le monde sera uh, vraiment paint, plus ou moins uh, unique sure apparemment. So in the paint options, uh, we have six regions on your exosuit that you can customize. Uh, they are, uh, je peux pas dire de marque El Clodos. Je suis pas uh, partenaire. Region. It's not just a color like how we've done in the past in our other games. It is a full material. So if I go into here, Whoa. I can pick uh, the main region here and I can apply a physical material to it's that. Oh. Uh, so I can pick the metal, pick the fabric, pattern fabric. Uh, and so one of the one of the things again here is uh, when you're picking these materials, it's not just the color. It is the physical material. So that effect affects the reflection. The smoothness and the color of the material itself. 
Ah, ça c'est bien ça. And I love um... the patterns because they can have two colors. <laughs> I, I realized that I forgot to do some disclaimers. Oh. So, uh, shame on Ben. Uh, but, a couple of disclaimers real quick. We're going to show you a lot of stuff that's in here. Um, not all of it is available at the very beginning. Uh, some things you unlock uh, through the game in various ways. We also today don't want to talk about how many things there are, how you unlock them, are there things that, that you pay for, are there things that you can earn in game. Um, that's all a topic for a different time. We just want to focus on the really cool ways you can. Ah, ils vont pas parler here. des microtransactions so, et des uh, trucs comme ça. Make sure that was clear that, um, you know, none of what you see pas in here is either the total amount or a subset of the amount. We're just not really going into that. Uh, we just want to focus on showing you guys a bunch of cool stuff today. Yep. So, so what I'm going through here. Yep. So what I'm going through here is I'm just kind of resetting the default look of the ranger, and I am uh, putting in just a blank slate. Uh, just a just a white canvas to start with. So I'm picking some random materials here. Uh, c'est bien parce que c'est pas que la couleur, c'est so la texture en fait. Je sais pas like, si vous le voyez bien, uh, mais c'est plus intéressant, je trouve. Yes, so you can actually make your own color palettes, as you see, Francis has been trying this feature out quite heavily. Uh, I expect we'll all spend a lot of time doing this. And you can use sort of any color you want. The full color wheel is available here. There's tons of really cool options. And as you create oh, different colors, cool. they're all saved into this palette so you can use them for later. Yep, so I'm just kind of presetting some colors that I want to use here for customizing my uh, Ranger. Let's do it. So while you guys are doing this, we also ça have ça c'est bien. Uh, Les jeux devraient faire tout ça en fait. Uh, on our community team, uh, reading through the chat for questions. Uh, please just make sure you guys uh, ask questions as we go. I think the easiest way is if you all ask questions about the section we're in at the time, and we can answer them as we go instead of trying to wait till the end to do Q and A. So, so make sure you ask questions about what you're seeing right now. Do you have questions on paint? Je préfère choisir ma couleur uh, que we can, we can avoir des couleurs imposées, je trouve. Enfin, je vois. Après, chacun son truc. Non, c'est pas bien car dans Dark Age of Camelot, tout le monde était noir. Quoi <rire> Qu'est-ce que tu refais All right, so what are you trying to aim for here, France? It's like, do you have a vision in mind of what you're trying to achieve Yeah, I'm kind of going for a, for a, a bounty hunter look. Vous voyez là <coughs> Genre... Euh... C'est pas juste the, uh, euh, la couleur lisse. Uh, uh, moi, je trouve ça pas mal. Les détails sont, ils sont vachement bien. C'est le, la texture change dans un sens. C'est très joli. Sympa. So one of the nice things is, yeah, once you've picked your colors here, uh, you know, you can go ahead and just pick any material, and the colors will store and they'll save, so you don't, you know, lose your settings. You can go back and iterate things on the fly. Yeah, when you guys were trying to work out the regions, because I think it's interesting, we have the six different regions. How did you work out, like, how to split up those regions? So here, uh, just going through the regions from top to bottom, the regions are named in the same way that the artist had originally built the suit. So the, the ranger suits have three hard surfaces and three soft surfaces. Again, the player can pick whichever region they want, uh, but at least gives them some guidance in, as to where these materials would look best. So I could go ahead in here and I could make this a metal, although it might look a little weird that if it's, for example, on the storm cape, it would be a little weird to have a metallic cape, but you could go ahead and do that if you want. I personally feel it looks cool, but as an artist, it might be weird. <laughs> <laughs> a metal cape, but it still flows, am I right? <laughs> it does. It's very shiny. There is nothing right, wrong we, we have with a couple the... of super shiny <laughs> we have a couple of questions coming through chat that i'll ask uh, you guys so um can you make custom logos in game uh no you cannot currently make custom logos uh, but you we do have the options to do vinyls do we want to go into that now i mean already so let's hold vinyls yeah, let's... um uh but uh yeah vinyls are effectively what you're asking for. They're not custom. We have a whole lot to show you, and Francis will show that off later. On pourra pas so, faire yeah, son propre no logo. Ce qui est pas uh, vraiment uh, un problème, je trouve. Si tu regardes Black Ops 4, uh, c'est le bordel yes, pour faire ton absolutely. logo. 
Um, we're still trying to work out uh, the plan for all of that. Um, but but our off. goal is to keep adding more and more stuff forever. As long as we can think of cool things to add, we'll add more stuff to the game. Um, final question uh, for one of you guys at the moment that we have. Uh, will the Legion of Dawn armor have all legs, arms, chest, and head as well? Yep, so this is probably a good time to go dive into the Legion of Dawn. Uh, let me just... Okay, so... Je vais faire un arc uh, in 46. here, this, as, as Leo was mentioning earlier, we have the parts, so we can go ahead and start equipping uh, pieces of gear. So, for example, let me put on the Legion of Dawn arms. I'm going to pick the helmet. And you can, the player can pick which ones they want to have. Yes, yeah, so I think an interesting thing uh, you were explaining uh, in a different meeting, Francis, was mm -hmm. how these uh, parts work. Like, it, it, it's less about, like, equipping arms as much as a bunch of attachments that reflect uh, the, the character model. Do you want to explain that just a little bit? Right, so uh, each of the exosuits, like the base suit underneath, the Ranger, the Colossus, the Storm, and the Interceptor, uh, all have an iconic look, which is their, their lowest level form. Uh, and then all the part attachments that get added on top, they are topical, although you can switch out your helmet. Cool. Ah, donc on commence so tout ça avec une base un peu similaire, mais après on fait des rajouts par rapport à, aux différentes classes qu'on a. Available to people that pre-order uh, for the Ranger, uh, and if you buy the Legion of Dawn edition, uh, you can get the Legion of Dawn armor packs for all four javelins uh, available at launch. Hmm. <clears throat> so what one question? Um, so many people have seen the Legion of Dawn art on the website. Um, probably not realizing that, hey, like that's the armor pack, but you can also customize it. Uh, will people be able to make it look exactly like the image on the uh, website? Yes. So uh, what players will do, what we will do is we will release a set of materials in here similar to this, and we will have them named uh, Legion of Dawn. Uh, so that way it will give the players some guidance as to how to replicate that look. Um, so they can attach just all the Legion of Dawn materials to the regions and then just pick the colors that they want to go with. It's pretty simple though. Awesome. It's silver and silver and gold. You can't go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it looks amazing though. People are excited. Um, a question for you, uh, Leah. Um, can we save these uh, ap uh, personalization appearances to loadouts? Yes, oh, yeah. absolutely. So, ah, énorme. Uh, we do have a section where you can store loadouts for all your Dans les loadouts, on peut garder les, les couleurs et tout ça. Like, and it will also store all of your gear and customization as well. So ah, ça c'est cool. the full package <coughs> for you to uh, build on. Awesome. C'est sympa ça. I have a, a bunch more questions coming in. <laughs> uh, if you guys have things to say, just stop me and, and keep talking, but uh... What are some of the ways you can unlock new colors or materials? Uh, so again, uh, it's a good question. It's one of the things we don't want to get into today. So we're still working out for all of Vanity um, and all of our personalization options, how they're going to be unlocked in the game. And so we're not really ready to share that yet, but we can share that at a later date. Um, it's a really good question. I just don't want to yeah. talk about any of it right now. Come survive. Uh, can you show how to use Legion of Dawn appearances? Uh, yes, that's what we're doing now. I think I just missed that question earlier. Apologies. Um, can you change the color of any of the unique appearances? Um, yes is the answer. So that's kind of what Francis is doing now with the Legion of Dawn uh, armor packs. He's done a couple of different colors, uh, which is really cool. And I think certain materials, Francis, they have either just the paint color that you can change, and then all of our metallics have quite a few different metallic yes. ranges. So, so metal, uh, with the way our physically based rendering works, is metal is has an actual scientific value behind it. So if we start breaking that value, it tends to look not great in real light, uh, or at least in the game lighting scenario. So when you, uh, the regions are contextual. So if you do pick a metal, for example, uh, let's say I want to go with. Uh, with the welded ones, I like these ones. Um, so if you were to pick these metals, you would get a different color palette range. Uh, so these are all physical, real world metals in, in that exist in real world. So uh, you have gold, brass, copper, nickel, tin, silver, tungsten. Um, there's no alien materials, no, they, these are all based off real world um, metals. 
So a question while you're in this screen, I think maybe. Ouais, on peut is, vraiment changer uh, les textures en fait. And rotate, like if you want to see more of the character. Yep. So you have controls to go ahead and uh, at each level be able to interact with the exosuit. Ouais, ça c'est cool ça. Awesome. Um, a question was, on peut complètement uh, will there be a randomized features feature for colors? That's a great idea. I will take that one back. <laughs> yeah, currently, you so can no, not, not right, right now. Right. But the nice thing is, we we so uh, on this we have preset colors. So we the, the artists have already pre-selected a wide range of colors. So people don't have to every single time go through the color wheel and have to pick it for every single material. And just so people are aware, yeah, we've in... also added white and black values because I know that a lot of people always ask for black. <laughs> That kind of ties into a question I had. So I remember uh, early on, we were trying to work out how the system would work uh, to have a lot of depth, but also be simple for people like me who aren't the best with fashion. Um, and we got to an interesting place where I think it's pretty straightforward for someone who doesn't want to spend too much time. Pour moi, il n'y a pas de couleur aléatoire, ils ont dit. On peut pas. Il kind of n'y a pas une option in, pour in ça. Mais ils vont like, sûrement la rajouter. If you're a kind of low-key person who just wants to do something quickly, ah, joli, um, how how do we do that? Uh, so uh, so usually uh, when you're in your loadouts, uh, under here. So you will always, whenever you create a new uh, loadout, you will get your uh, default ranger, and it just oh, I edited it. Uh, anyway, so. Let's, why don't we just go through this? So as you create loadouts, you can name them uh, whatever you want. I don't know, Jesse, if you'd be able to type <laughs> give in. Us uh, a name. Give us a name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so this is a really, really great way that if you make a couple of things that, that you really like, you can swap between them easily. Um, you know, but you can also just do stuff like, hey, go to all six regions and make them all black, and that will just look pretty cool by itself. So you don't have to, like go through everything and, and spend lots of time. Although if you want to, you can really make something that, that kind of reflects your oh. personal style and flair. Il a... Yeah, I mean, if Il I've got a whole bunch of friends playing pend, here at work le and I just de... want to get out, I'll just grab the default and change up a few colors. Typically all metal, very fast while they're waiting for me so that I can <laughs> uh, play my favorite Bender from Futurama look. It's always good. <laughs> So no, and it, it's super quick. You're in and out while everyone's readying up, um, and you're also very shiny. Speaking of shiny, awesome. do you want to go into wear a little bit, Ben? Yeah. 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 So it. we do have wear options as well. Uh, so again, uh, ever since everything is built in a layered fashion, uh, we 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 kind of built it in a way so that uh, the players can choose how they want their exosuit to look. Do they want them to look all beat up? Do we want them to look Dirty? Do we want them to look all chipped and painted, uh, or have chipped paint? Ça c'est cool. Ça j'aime bien ça. Uh, or, on, peut, on peut donner différents uh, styles, style, genre um, l'armure est abîmée, so l'armure est, uh, est sale, l'armure est nickel. Ça c'est cool. C'est um, sympathique ça. Et si tu mets des stains dessus, ça va stain un peu plus comme la peau, versus si tu avais un suit en métal, le métal serait plus clair, ça ferait que le métal serait plus it would make it cover it, the, the way the, the surface response of, of the, the wear will react differently. And I should also mention that we're looking at this, you can bien, zoom in and out, uh, toggle on and off the little interaction points if you just want to spend time admiring your suit as well. Is a few of the options we've added in there, as well as you can see, not in this screen, but in other ones, there's lots of options, so we've added filters as well if you want to quickly get into what you need the filter awesome uh a question came through uh uh that i might we'll see uh the question is uh does this only affect your appearance as opposed to stats with things like the legion of dawn um armor packs Elliot, you, you want to or ben you want to grab that it's an yeah one. i can answer so um <laughs> Basically, there's two there's two big parts of the game. Uh, one <laughs> is power, and one is vanity. And so, what we're talking about now is purely vanity, personalization, appearance, all kind of synonyms, I guess. Um, so everything we're doing now only affects how you look. Separately to that, we have 
uh, power, which is gears, guns, uh, and a few other equipable uh, parts that we haven't really delved into yet. Uh, and that's where you get your power and your stats. So we've really tried to separate that so that you know there's one part of the game that's all about becoming powerful. En gros, il explique qu'on pourra ressembler à ce qu'on veut about, avec n'importe quelle know, partie d'armure, je crois. Um, and again, how you unlock all those things, I don't want to go into today. Um, but for what we're looking at right now, it's purely for uh, your appearance. Donc il y a vraiment que uh, un, un côté que seulement like, apparent, ça va pas changer les stats. C'est bien ça. Multiple javelins. Merde, qu'est-ce qu'il dit? No, we don't have that uh, ability right now, but I'm sure uh, as we go into live service, we can take some of that feedback and make this uh, even better for you. But great idea. Cool. <laughs> Mental notes. It is notes. a great idea. Yeah. I knew that was no, so I feel, I feel guilty. Yeah. Just play it this one of those um... ones I'm recording silently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because there's a bunch of good suggestions yeah. in here of things we don't have. Uh, and I think, you know, this is a really, really robust system. But obviously, like any system in any game, there's a bunch of things we'd love to do going forward to, to improve it. And so suggestions like that are really helpful for us. Sometimes they're things we thought about ourselves, but sometimes they're not. And so um, having those suggestions is great. So thank you all for asking those questions. Um, J'aime bien le masque. Je ne sais pas si on connaît la réponse à ça, mais je ne sais pas. Combien de personnalisations peux-tu vous sauver pour le javelin Donc, je pense que ça signifie combien de personnalisations peux-tu avoir Je sais que maintenant, nous regardons ça. Je pense que c'est actuellement prêt à 5, mais j'espère que ce nombre va changer quand nous allons vers le futur. Je me demande si c'est de la Xbox ou c'est du PC. Cool. Je pense que c'est un peu plus de la Xbox. Je pense que c'est un peu plus de la Xbox. Je pense que c'est un peu plus de la Xbox. Je pense que c'est un peu plus de la Xbox. Je pense que c'est un peu plus de la Xbox. Je pense que c'est un peu plus de la Xbox. Je pense que c'est un peu plus de la Xbox. Je pense que c'est un peu plus de la Xbox. Je pense que c'est un peu plus de la Xbox. Je pense que c'est un peu plus de la Xbox. Je pense que c'est un peu plus de la Xbox. Je pense que c'est un peu plus de la Xbox. Je pense que c'est un peu plus de la Xbox. Je pense What uh, do you want to tell us? Where are we at, Francis? What, what, uh, what so, do you want to do next? Ah, yeah, that's right. Finals now is probably a good time if I could. There is a slight bug right now where when I select the loadout. I hope you're keeping track of this one, Leia. <laughs> yeah, sometimes misbehaves. Yeah. So, yeah, we can go right that's into the finals. Fine. It's early. There's plenty of time. <laughs> so, uh, the, the finals right. again is to answer that question about the custom logos. Uh, so here we have the the vinyl system. So while we can customize your ex, you can customize your javelin, and you can apply your materials. You can pick your colors. Um, that's all nice, and you can come up with some really cool designs. But sometimes you just want a little bit more punch, uh, maybe a little reward for for doing things in the game. Um, just something that, to, in addition, you uh, personalize your ex so give you a little bit of flair. That's yeah, there's a lot of uh, N7 poggers going on in chat, so <laughs> yeah. we might have to show gonna, that at uh, some point. I might just gonna go around that. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, a question, Francis. Mm -hmm. um, these. On va pas voir de gameplay, je crois. They, uh, javelin specific. Ou alors plus tard, no. mais. So the vinyls. Once you, you plus have tard, the vinyl, uh, it'll apply on any javelin you have. Uh, and it should, within reason, look as good as it does on one uh, javelin as it does on another. You can't always account for every single nook and cranny on the exosuit that uh, th this little stripe might look in the exact same spot, but it is as close as the artist can possibly get to making it look good. Yeah, like the spirit of the decal works across all the suits, right? Yeah. Like, I think they look really cool. I think you have a keener eye for it than many of us have. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So this is the one you. This is the one that uh, we made for Ben specifically for E3 because he requested it. <laughs> oh, we can put. We can put in request. C'est que de la custom le jeu, c'est ça. Tu restes déjà à regarder ton armure, tu joues pas. It just it uses the same colors, yeah. which is cool. I think this is what I use when I play every day. Um, I know a question that's come up internally. I don't didn't catch it in chat. I think it might have been there. Was so you can change all the paint options for the the all the other stuff we've seen, but what about the vinyls? Can you change them at all, or how does that work? No. So we actually did. We we we, we debated this topic for a long time, and we we tried to put uh, full control for the player to customize each decal or each vinyl. Uh, the problem with that is the amount of performance expense that it has on the system, where you're um, you're you're tracking more parameters, more data. Uh, which did affect performance negatively. And on top of that, there was an added complexity. So you, you would have to double up every single one of these menus so that the player would have to not only you know, 
customize their their personalize their Excel, they would also have to go personalize their, their vinyl, which seemed like an extra bit of work for for very little payoff. Versus the artist just making you know releasing these cool looking uh, one off items, which also it really does help to signify things like for challenges. Uh, to have these iconic looking vinyls so you, when you see another okay, player pas changer les m- something you can see the, the vinyl that is just so les choses comme ça yeah that's the part i was going to say i think you know a there's all the technical genre les customiser soi même user experience problems with it but i think even as a player experience à part les, la couleur to principale that exact je crois point, it's great C'est when tout. You can see something and identify it. You know, it, it, again, we're not really talking about how you get things, but an example might be you complete a really difficult challenge and get a cool Since, vinyl, and then you can use that to show nine. off uh, to your friends that you got it. And if they can look at that and, and immediately relate that that's where it came from, that's what it is. I think that's a really cool way to show off. Um, ah, si mal qu'on puisse pas changer tout ça. So the chat is demanding. And I'm sorry, they're demanding N7. So oh. <laughs> when the, the, the people have spoken, Francis. Um, yeah, let me uh, just. But did you, did you? I can't remember. So last week, was it last week or the week before? It was N7 mm-hmm. day. Who knows what date it is anymore? Um, and so we kind of were randomly like, hey, we should make an N7 look and share it on social media for N7 day. That's really cool. Uh, and so did you make this then or did you have it made already? I, no, I, I made it. Uh, it was done the night before the 7th. I thought so. Yeah. <laughs> Can you? So yeah, I don't know if we need to right replicate to the exact look. Well, uh, you, you well, tell us. How do we I will get it as close as I can cool. right now. Um, yeah. um, as Francis is doing this, AJ and Jesse, what are we like on time? I mean, we're happy to keep going a bit. You just give us like a five minute countdown when you need us to start wrapping up. So far, so good, guys. Okay, great. I'll let you know. C'est plutôt sympa de faire ça en live quand même. Hein. Les so mecs, ils ont pas seven. vraiment. Enfin, ils ont bien travaillé sur leur truc, donc euh, ils sont assez confiants. Quoi. Menus, plutôt cool. cool think, ça, j'aime bien ça. This is an interesting question. I think the answer is no, and it might go into our cool ideas for the future. <laughs> um, is there a way to match colors to the decals once you apply them? No, but that's no. a really good idea. Yeah. I don't idea. know if okay. we can add a color picker dynamically on top of the screen, but that is and that would help a lot. Do you want to, like, I'm not an artist, let's be super clear, but I don't know if you want the same colors, do you? Well, that's kind of, that is, uh, that, uh, I think probably the, the person who asked that was, they noticed I was trying to match the color uh, yeah. to the decal. So, or to the <laughs> that, so that okay, is a good okay. question, so maybe we'll look into that one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> if you had it Stuff equipped later. in the paint section, we could just have a, a sex, like an extra section yeah. with related colors. So, I am so... signing us up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I might make a high risk suggestion here. Oh, okay. For once you're done with this. <laughs> um, so, chat is asking if we could see a different javelin. So, I oh, think. Regarde this stuff. So, first of all, can we show a different one? Question mark. Said... Right now? Yes, we were yeah. having some problems earlier. Okay. Sure. So, we, we saw a problem. So, chat, you get to demand. You have to type a uh, storm or interceptor. And then we will pick whichever one has the most. Oh, that's good. Ah, c'est stylé. And <coughs> also, please give some some uh, pog champ for the N7 look because Francis did it without rehearsal. Yes, and I so got it good. Wrong. I got it wrong. You got it okay. wrong. I can't tell. <laughs> it feels super close. <laughs> oh. For for like a no pressure in front of thousands of yes. people on the spot with no practice. <laughs> That feels like a pretty good deal. All right, so uh, the votes are in. Uh, I've used. C'est genre coloré à 90 des armures. Hein. C'est, c'est, clair, c'est ça. Was most popular, and I think the storm was the winner. So okay. once we're done with this, we might swap over to the storm, Francis. Okay, we can do that now. Ils vont changer d'armure. Ils vont prendre le storm. Uh, Lee, a question to you. So storm, je crois que c'est celui-là qui. Is there lots of different setup required? Qui commande les éléments? Like when you guys ouais, are c'est celui-là. 
Is there uh, any complexity with that? Yes, like each of them are set up with their own interaction points. Uh, they actually have their own names for each of the regions. Some of them have more paint regions than other ones. But yes, there's actually quite a bit of custom work that goes into setting up each of these from the cameras and all that kind of stuff. Which awesome. makes it all really fun and cool and unique. <laughs> yeah. So what we might do here, Francis, is let's let's spend like just two or three minutes. Um, oh, we already have a cool appearance. Wow. Okay, that's yeah, fine. you, let's, you <laughs> pre-made this know, one. That's <laughs> so uh, fine, but let's you know. spend two or three minutes sure. fiddling around, uh, just showing anything you think is kind of cool or different about the storm. Um, and then we might take a few more questions. And then Moi, le problème que j'ai avec cette armure, c'est qu'elle fait trop go uh, time here. personnage, en fait. J'ai l'impression de, de regarder un personnage de Destiny, alors que c'est censé être do des armures. Oh, yes. je, je préfère les... Je préfère les grosses armures, no, 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 les, no, no, les okay. gros trucs. Quoi. Okay. Think, Mais sinon, elle est super classe. Je pense que nous avons vu un javelin et ça a l'air vraiment génial. Je pense que nous l'avons fait. Donc, allons-y retourner à la Ranger. Nous sommes encore en train de faire un peu de choses, donc nous voulons vous montrer certaines des animations, comme les emotes et des choses comme ça, mais nous ne les avons seulement sur le Ranger, donc nous voulons juste faire ça pour être sûrs aujourd'hui. Colossus Donc, allons-y retourner. Oui Vous avez fait un peu de Colossus Ça, c'est une armure Pourquoi pas Francis est comme, regarde, je sais que vous êtes le host, mais je n'ai pas de souci, donc je vais juste aller voir et montrer. Oui, c'est OK. Uh... So Ça, we should have been doing this on my account, and Probably. this would definitely yeah. have beat all my shiny suits, for sure. <laughs> Colossus is Titanfall, okay, yeah. So it's enorme, I like it. We're going to put some of the animation stuff, so things like emotes, but we're also going to call... Alors, les animations. So, uh, the community guys will skim chat for the final five questions, and as we go, we'll answer them as we go, we'll answer them as we go, and then we'll start wrapping up. So do you want to just talk through Leah first? Like, what are the sections in this screen represent? Sure. So here you're able to set your uh, victory pose, which is at the end of all of our missions, you get this really cool, fun, celebratory uh, wrap-up uh, with your friends. So you can set anything you want there. The arrival animation is anytime you enter the game um, at the start of missions or you're helping other people and you make a grand entrance, so you can set your arrival animation. And then we have emotes. Do we have any of them that we can show, or are we, are we, do no, we not want to show that No, they're them? not set up in there quite yet. Um, but we okay. do have lots of emotes. Something to tease, tease for later. Yeah. Uh, how cool you look when you enter uh, the game is one for next time. But yeah, there's lots of really fun emotes here. Uh, right now we've got three of them that you can use pick and game. And there's just all sorts of <laughs> great ones. <laughs> This is my favorite one. Finger guns? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, mon dieu, Ocelot. <laughs> so we're kind of playing emote roulette right now because we do not have custom icons in quite yet. So, yeah. But they're all working pretty cool. Look great. Shout out to the team for sure. Yeah, this stuff looks great. So, if you see these <laughs> well, on the Colossus. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen Kung Fu Form 1 before. I'm almost crying. It's awful. Yes. It's so good. I've heard the Colossus doing a backflip is is quite fun as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I don't know, um, AJ and Jesse, if we have any of those questions coming through, we should probably uh, ask them when you guys have a second. Yeah, for sure. Um, one thing, Ben, that I wanted to touch on, if you don't mind, uh, and Francis, do you mind going back yes. up the Legion of Dawn? <laughs> yes. Can we show that a little bit? So a lot of people have been asking about Legion of Dawn. Um, we've got a link, uh, a nifty link, um, on how you, you know, get all that stuff. Uh, ben, do you have that stuff in front of you, or do you want me to go over it? Yeah, okay. yeah, we can talk about it real quick. So, okay. um, again, the Legion of Dawn uh, armor pack is is um, the thing you equip with your head, chest, legs, uh, etc. Um, as Leah described, it's kind of the things that change your silhouette. And so, if you pre-order the game you get access to the Legion of Dawn armor pack for the Ranger, which is what we're looking at now. Super cool. Um, and then what I think is one of the most generous offerings in video game history. Uh, if you purchase the Legion of Dawn edition, um, you get the uh, Legion of Dawn armor pack for all four of the javelins. Um, so that's four armor packs, which is 
which is, I think, awesome. We're just really excited for people who, you know, want to be early adopters to the game to be really generous with a really cool look um, that you can celebrate. Like, hey, I've been here from the beginning. Um, <coughs> and so we wanted to make sure we reward that. Uh, the details oh, are on why? the website. Uh, I don't know if you have the specific link, so AJ. Un peu bof et Enfin, les, les différentes, euh... Yeah, I think you touched on everything perfectly. Um, we're still pulling some more questions from the chat. Uh, as Francis uh, toys around with this this javelin here, and he's, he's kind of recreating what you see um, in, in the mock-up <laughs> there, which is really cool. Um, one question we're getting, Ben, and uh, this might be for you. Some people asking about, and mm -hmm. I know we're not talking about uh, weapons or gear yet, but they want to know about, uh, you know. How that works? Are those um, part of what you colorize and stuff like that? Sure. So, um, do Lear and Francis? I uh, could answer that one in terms of weapons specifically. So mm -hmm. weapons yep, do not receive colorization in the same way as the exosuit. Weapons will be; they will have unique looks and appearances. There will probably probably be another um, stream going over that. So you can have really mm -hmm. cool looking uh, guns. Yeah, and kind of same with gear. Like th there are some. Donc uh, on pourra changer les couleurs des armes, mais pas trop. C'est ce qu'il veut dire. On the functionality of the gear, um, and so it's not tied to things that you can um, specifically customize, uh, but you can tie them together in loadouts. So you can pick, hey, I want these three gear pieces, these two weapons, with this appearance, and I save the whole thing as one loadout. So you know, you might want to make the red dragon ranger appearance that's all red and then you have equipped fire gear and ça me rappelle warframe tout ça the frosty warrior i wish i was more creative <laughs> uh, and you know you you make yourself blue and then you equip the frost grenade uh, and save that as a loadout and you then can then swap between both uh, the customization you have of gear and weapons uh, and the appearance uh, can be tied together so that's pretty cool Uh, next question, AJ. Sure. Uh, we've got uh, this one that I've seen a few times. I, I don't know if you want to touch on this. Uh, they saw the, the Nifty N7, and of course, we're uh, getting questions about a certain other uh, Bioware <laughs> IP called Dragon Age. So, um, yeah. I think... Well, go ahead. Dragon Francis. Age! No, I was going to say, we do have Plaid Weave in the game. Uh, so. <laughs> Um, I think you know the answer to all Bioware IPs that we own is, of course, we'll do shoutouts and and stuff like that to those IPs. Uh, I don't think we want to get into the specifics of all of it. We obviously made N7 because N7 Day was was just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I'm sure we'll give nods to our IPs, you know, as we go forward. So I'm sure you can expect to see things where it makes sense and where it's you know appropriate. All right, let's do what two more questions. Well, and va, then we'll call it. Yeah, let's do yeah one or two more. Uh, and, and be sure to drop them in there. We're kind of as we're kind of going through this, everybody. <clears throat> and thanks for joining us today. Um, I do want to give a uh, quick shout out to Leah and Francis, and I'm sure you were going to do this, Ben. But uh, thank you guys for 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 joining us today uh, on the uh, on the Anthem live stream. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Yeah, so let's. I'll do a little bit of wrap up stuff uh, as we get those final questions together. So, uh, first of all, um, for those of you that are in Twitch, thank you so much for coming along. Uh, make oh, yeah. sure to follow the channel so you get notified of when we're doing uh, streams in the future. Uh, it's twitch.tv forward slash Anthem Game. Machine. I'm sure you know that. No, 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 right Machin. Machin. Um, Merci. Uh, both Mike Gamble and I will be kind of rotating hosting the streams probably. We'll kind of rotate week on week so we can bring guests in, like I said at the start. Uh, we'll try to share information about upcoming streams uh, through Twitter, uh, through ourselves, also through AJ and Jesse and, and our main channels. But uh, feel free to follow us. Uh, I'm at Ben Ervo on Twitter and Mike is at Gamble Mike. On Twitter. Um, as for the next stream, our goal is to do it in a couple of weeks. Uh, we're trying to get consistent with this stuff. Um, we haven't announced a topic yet, although if you're savvy and on Twitter, you saw Mike uh, posing questions out last night about what you guys would like to see uh, next stream. 
Uh, so we'll have some announcements for that coming soon. Hopefully, in the next couple of days, we'll give you some more clarity on what we'll do uh, for the Marathon next stream. Mass Effect? No. Um, <laughs> okay. And then uh, before we sign off, let's get the last two questions. So uh, can you change the color of the visor on helmets? That's a good question. Leah, do you want to answer that one? The visor on the helmets? Mm -hmm. Is it yes? I think it's yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm like, yes. Can I... we do it? Not now. No. <laughs> okay. So no. we will be able to do it. Yes. Good, uh, good question. La visière, um, la couleur et tout ça. I think we, we asked, we answered this question, Casque. which was, uh, can we change the appearance of weapons to match javelins? So uh, we talked about that already. Let me see if I can find a random question in chat. And your gear does inherit the colors of your... Your, your javelin. Oh, that's so a great that's color. So I misspoke here. before. Yep. I said it didn't. Yes. That's so. a great clarification. Yep. Awesome. Um, a lot of the questions I'm seeing are similar to ones we've answered. So let's go ahead and call it there. Um, first of all, I want to just thank everyone who was involved in putting the stream together. Uh, it might seem like we just turn up and chat, uh, but a lot of pre-work goes into this. And so we had a lot of great help from a bunch of production folk, a bunch of our QA partners. Uh, Francis and Leah put a lot of time into this. Um, Jesse and AJ put a lot of time into helping getting everything set up. So thank you all so much for all of that hard work. Um, obviously, a special thanks uh, to Francis and Leah for joining us. Uh, it was great to have you as the experts of all of this. I know that uh, we couldn't have covered it as well without you. So thank you so much for coming on. Uh, and a final thank you just to everyone who turned up to watch. Um, we've really loved engaging with our community so far. Everyone has been so supportive and encouraging. Uh, and if you, you have no idea how helpful that is for us as we're getting into the, the last little bit of time here to finish the game, it, it's great to have that support. and and that positivity that's in our community. So thank you all for tuning in. Um, and then again, look to Twitter and other uh, parts of social media uh, for announcements on the next live stream. But once again, thank you all so much and we'll see you next time. Ah, c'est pas mal. El Clodas, merci pour les 100 milliards de bits. Merci infiniment. Dishonor, je signe tout de suite. Mais tout le monde veut que je fasse ce jeu, je sais pas pourquoi. Mais moi, je joue qu'à Call of Duty, vous le savez très bien. Vous le savez très bien, moi, c'est que du Call of. Alors, c'était sympa. On a, on a pas vu grand-chose, on a vu que de la custom, en fait. Euh, mais euh, c'était plutôt cool. Euh, dans à peu près deux semaines, ils vont encore en faire un... VIP access to pre-launch demo, ça c'est pas, c'est pas top ça, c'est pas top, bref. Euh, euh, dans deux semaines apparemment ils vont faire encore un live, et ils vont parler d'autres choses. Donc euh, peut-être des combats, peut-être du gameplay, ce sont les quatre armures qu'on peut avoir. Donc il y a une édition, genre l'édition, standard édition avec pre-order, t'as le, t'as l'armure euh, Legion of Dawn, avec l'accès à la démo du coup et si tu prends la plus grosse édition, t'as les 4 armures en fait. Dans le premier, t'as juste pour le ranger, mais après dans l'autre édition, t'as pour les 4 armures. C'est bof, c'est bof. Euh, coloriage simulateur, c'est pas, pas mal. <rire> c'est pas mal. Euh, ouais. Bah, on n'a pas vu grand chose, on n'a pas vu grand chose comme ça. Hein. C'est pas, pas grave. Mais euh, au moins les customs sont cool. Au moins les customs, il y en a pas mal. On peut faire sa propre couleur, il y a tout plein de différentes parties, il y a plein de... C'est sympa, quoi. Il y a au moins de la variété dans ce qu'on peut faire. C'est comme un jeu, pour pas citer, c'est comme un jeu de tir, pour pas citer, hein, surtout, euh, où on peut pas vraiment custom son arme, rien, on peut, pas, on peut même pas la tourner genre à 360 degrés, regarder tout ça. Là, là au moins, tu peux regarder ta, euh, ta javelin ton armure et tout ça, et, très, et bien en détail, tu peux zoomer dessus, tu peux changer la matière, tu peux changer euh, euh, les couleurs, tu peux faire tes couleurs à toi, tu peux changer les parties, tu, tu peux vraiment tout faire. Donc ça c'est bien, ça c'est cool. Et 
Il aime ça parce qu'il mettra son logo dans l'armure. <rire> non, mais fond, c'était plutôt cool. Quel genre comme le Titanfall Non, comme euh, un jeu... Non, mais je peux pas le dire. Et euh... Mais ouais. Donc dans deux semaines, sûrement, ils vont faire euh, un autre stream. Avec euh, un autre thème. Donc euh, j'espère que ce sera des combats. Ce serait cool. Euh, 